Hey everybody, it's Old School, and this video is for Marco Antonio as well as anybody else who wants to know more specifics about how to configure your Wiimote once you get it connected with the TouchMote software, how to actually get it to work in MAME. Now, uh, inside uh, the video where I show show you playing, uh, show myself playing. <laughs> games in MAME, I have a description uh, about what you'll need and uh, I tried to be as specific as I could on how to set it all up but um, uh, Mar Marco's having an issue and some other people might have an issue so I figure you know this is YouTube why don't I just show you so uh, let's come over here and this is going to be done uh, gorilla cam style because this computer doesn't do so great um, with, with with recording the screen and such. So, uh, and I'll do the best I can so you can see everything that I'm doing. And why is this thing not focusing? There we go. That's better. So, first what you need to do is you need to set up the uh, Wiimote in a touch mode software. So, we'll come down here to the touch mode software. I know this is going to be kind of difficult to see with my CRT screen here. There we go. Let's, uh, I'll try to do my best here. So we'll go to settings, and then we'll go to controller config, of course. Now what I have here, this this is my default setup. It's it's called MAME here. And uh, you definitely want to make sure, of course the default one's always going to be uh, available in the layout chooser, uh, but you want to make sure that whatever your um, what whatever uh, you have your settings on, if you made a, a new new key map to uh, in order to control Mame stuff like that, you want to make sure that this box is always checked so you can select it later after you make it. Now, um, Marco says that he has the the pointer oh, wrong slider. He has the pointer mapped to the left stick, which. Uh, I really don't see that there should be any problem, uh, whether it be the left stick or the right stick. Uh, so, Marco, this is the way I've got uh, things configured here. So, uh, pointer is the right stick. A and B, I, I des designated uh, A and B as an A and B on the Xbox 360 controller. They can be anything you want as long as they're mapped to something on uh, the Xbox 360 controller. That could be... Uh, right bumper, left bumper, it, does, it doesn't matter. Just as long as, as it's mapped to something on the Xbox 360 controller, when we go into MAME, you'll be able, it, it'll, it'll pick it right up. So, uh, let me go back to autofocus here. Alright, so after you've got that done, um, you can go ahead and close that out. But before you open MAME, uh, may, let me make sure not to uh, close the software down. But before you go to MAME, you want to, um, well, first of all, make sure your sensor bar is on. I'm using the actual sensor bar for my Wii. Make sure that that's on. Uh, I've, I've been caught several times without it being on, and I'm like, why isn't this doing anything? And I'm like, oh, I forgot to turn the Wii on. <sighs> so anyway, after you make sure your sensor bar is on, what you want to do before you go to MAME is make sure, uh, hold down the home button, for three seconds and then this should come up here and you can select whatever layout so if you made a new key map um, you can go ahead and select that of course mine is designated as MAME I renamed it as MAME oh 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 my bad there we go I selected MAME okay now you're ready to go into MAME uh, just just mind you since it's uh, since the uh, the um, pointer is designated as the left or right stick, you will not be able to control your mouse with that. So this is normal. You're not going to be able to control anything on your desktop. And then we'll go ahead and go to Mame. Hi. Oh. And we'll go to Lethal Enforcers because you know why not. And so not. Not able to do anything because the uh, controls are not uh, programmed yet. So let me scoop back a little bit. Because if you're too close to the center bar, you could it could not register. So we'll hit the we'll hit uh, tab on the keyboard here, 
and that'll bring the menu up here. So we want to uh, scroll down to input for this machine. I'm sorry if that's really hard to see, but yeah. And then first what we want to do, uh, or you don't have to do this first, but it's, it's right here. What you want to do is program button one and uh, the, which should be the trigger button or whatever you want to press uh, for the trigger. So without pointing, without pointing the uh, Wiimote at the screen, because if you do, it could learn something else for button one. It could, it could learn to one of the movements and whatnot, or one of, you know, left or right or up or down. So you want to point it away from the screen for right now. You want to hit enter, and then you want to pull the trigger button. And then it says uh, joy, joy one, button one. And that's what you want to see. So that's going to be your trigger button. Okay, next what we're going to want to do is program for light gun X analog and light gun Y analog. And you're not going to want to pay attention to X analog decrease or increase and likewise Y analog decrease and increase. Um, you just want to pay attention to the ones on top. And what you can use the decrease and increase setting for is a point of reference of which direction you should be moving for uh, each respective direction. Uh, so X is going to be left or right, and then Y is going to be up or down. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a smooth sweep uh, to the left or to the right to program for uh, X. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So you'll you'll want to get you'll you'll want to get your uh, Wiimote ready while you're pointing it at the screen, and then when you hit enter, you're going to do a smooth sweep to the left or to the right. It doesn't matter which direction you do. You don't have to do a rubbing motion. It'll it'll take it after one pass. And so what you want to make sure that you do is you just keep it nice and smooth like that. Don't don't do any circles. Uh, don't draw figure eights or anything like that. You want to keep it nice and smooth. So I've programmed for, for uh, ease of this video, I've programmed uh, enter to also be the A button on the Wiimote because I can't, I can't do this task and hit enter on the keyboard at the same time without messing things up. So that's why you're going to see me hit the A button. So you want to press enter and then make a nice even smooth swipe to the left or the right like this. And as you can see the setting changed and it changed to Joy 1 X rotation. And that's what you should see. Now we want to scroll down to uh, like and Y analog. And we're going to do the same thing except we're going to do it in the up, up and down direction. Again, uh, keep your keep your hands steady when you when you press enter and then you want to sweep up or down. I'm going to go up because I'm already down here. So um, just make again, just make sure your movements are smooth. Don't don't do any wiggling or again, don't do any figure eights. Uh, just make it a nice uh, clean sweep up or down. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and then make a sweep up. I'm too close to the TV. Sweep down. There we go. Yeah, and I usually this is not a problem, but I'm I'm pretty close to the television, so I can do stuff like this. So um, yeah, normally that would have worked in one sweep, just like you saw in the X direction. But uh, again, I was too close to my sensor bar, not giving it uh, very good readings. So so I just took another swipe down. Just as long as you keep it nice and steady, uh, everything will be fine. And if you do it wrong, just try again. But now as you can see it's uh, joy. Joy 1 Y rotation, and that's what you should see. So, Marco, I hope that helped uh, answer your question somewhat. I did my best. Um, if you have any more questions, please uh, put them in the comment box below. I'll do my best. And also, anybody else watching this video, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. And until next time, have a good one.